Personal Computer Games was a multi-format UK computer games magazine of the early, mid-1980s published by VNU. History Personal Computer Games was launched in summer 1983. It is famous for launching the careers of several notable games journalists of the 1980s including Bob Wade, Peter Connor and Chris Anderson. Anderson would later launch Amstrad Action, and Future Publishing, along with Wade and Connor. Other staff included deputy editor Steve Cook and staff writer Samantha Nemons. The magazine was part of VNU and had its headquarters in London. It was first published quarterly, then bi monthly, and then monthly. Computer coverage at the time were mainly consisted of the Spectrum, C64, and the BBC Micro, although there were others featured such as Atari 8 bit, Electron, Vic 20, and the newly released Amstrad CPC. The February 1985 issue was the last of the magazine. Chris Anderson and Bob Wade went on to launch the Commodore 64 magazine ZZAP, 64. Screen test One of the many influential sections of the magazine was the screen test pages where the latest games were reviewed. The PCG panel, who voiced their opinions on the game's reviews, consisted of the PCG staff plus several contributions from readers. The review was laid out with an explanation of the gameplay and then three opinions from the reviewers were given in backouts at the end. PCG ratings were out of 10, with a score giving to the graphics, sound, originality, lasting interest and the overall score. <laughs> Game of the Month The highest accolade awarded by Personal Computer Games was the «Game of the Month», first introduced in Issue 3, Issue 1 did not have a Game of the Month. Issue 2's Game of the Month was actually called the Screen Star Award. Summer 1983, Issue 1, no Game of the Month awarded. January 1984, Issue 2, Manic Minor, ZX Spectrum Screen Star Award. February 1984, Issue 3, Revenge of the Mutant Camels, Commodore 64. March 1984, Issue 4, Scuba Dive, ZX Spectrum. April 1984, Issue 5, Forbidden Forest, Video Game, Commodore 64. May 1984, Issue 6, Jet Set Willy, ZX Spectrum. June 1984, Issue 7, Fortress, 1984 Video Game, BBC Micro. July 1984, Issue 8, Loco, Video Game, Commodore 64. August 1984, Issue 9, The Lords of Midnight, ZX Spectrum. September 1984, Issue 10, Quo Vadis, 1984 video game, Commodore 64. October 1984, Issue 11, Ancipital, Commodore 64. November 1984, Issue 12, Pajamarama, ZX Spectrum. December 1984, Issue 13, Boulder Dash, Commodore 64. January 1985, Issue 14, Underworld and Night Lore, both ZX Spectrum. February 1985, issue 15, Impossible Mission, Commodore 64. Topic: <inaudible> Cover mounts. In February 1984, PCG gave away a cover-mounted flexidisc containing game data that could be transferred to cassette. These included free programs for the VIC-20 Spectrum, BBC, and Dragon 32/64's computers. Chris Anderson did pioneer the cover-mounted cassette, but not with Amstrad Action, as many believe, but with issue 13 of PCG in December 1984. The cassette, labeled as ''Christmas Mega Gift'' contained 12 demo games for the Spectrum, BBC and C64. See also ZZAP, 64 Computer and Video Games magazine